as you can see, the thermals on the Raspberry Pi 3 right here. Then we're going to look at the 3B+, Plus, more heat, more power. And then we're going to get into the latest Raspberry Pi 4 that just released about a week ago. And as you can see, a lot of heat and it's a lot more spread out. So what I'm going to do in this video is put a make a liquid cooled Raspberry Pi 4, the first one that I know of. And I did this for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with great results. Back when I had RetroPie, I was gaming on it. But in this video, we're going to put it in the oil and then go ahead and take those temps. And I can tell you right now that this will cool your pie more than 95% of the fans out there on the market. Uh, I will be doing a follow-up video on this using fans, but I can tell you right now, this keeps the Raspberry Pi 4 cold, especially considering this pie is hot. If you get this Raspberry Pi 4 with no case and no heat sink, you will burn your finger touching the processor. It will it, it will get close to it. It won't actually peel away any skin, but it will be way more than warm to the touch, which previous Raspberry Pi 3B Pluses were. So this is a hot chip. It's a hot board. So what do we do? We submerge it in mineral oil. Mineral oil is a non-conductive oil. What I did in this video is I attached the fan via hot glue. I have a 2.4 gigahertz dongle going to an air mouse so I can still get access to a keyboard and a mouse. But if I wanted to game on it, I can easily use the Bluetooth feature of the Raspberry Pi 3B. I left Patrick in there, I left a couple rocks, and this aquarium is only about a half gallon. I only have about a half gallon of mineral oil for this build. Um, so let's go ahead and set it up. First boot, we got it booting. Let's go ahead and just show you that the fan is on in there. Can you see that? The fan is definitely spinning in there. It's not going to do anything. It's just for looks. I hot glued it on. We have the uh, 2.4 gigahertz for this air mouse. So we have keyboard and mouse. Uh, this also has Bluetooth on it. So if I want to play games, I could use Bluetooth. We got Patrick over there. I could mount this up a little bit, but the processor is way far away from the rocks, and once we fill this with oil, it's gonna be fine. So in case you can't read that, it's 41 degrees to boot Celsius, and we should get it up over 60, because it has no cooling on it whatsoever. It's on a bed of pebbles in a closed enclosure. <laughs> so I have a feeling, uh, you know, it'll be hot, okay. All right, 54 degrees, 52 degrees. Okay, so it's not that hot because we just booted up on a cold boot, but now it's time for oil. Now that we're done, we're maxing out the CPUs, all four cores, let's get it hot. And let's go ahead and read these temps now that we are submerged in mineral oil. 360 degrees of cooling power. Let's see what we got here. After the test, nice. Let's run it again. Let's go back to back, right? There's no reason though for it to I mean, if it dropped, it went 38 to 36 like that. I mean, this might jump it back up to 39, maybe 40. It's in, it's in the fluid. I'll do a little close up while this is. Uh, well, let me finish. Let the fit test finish. Look at that. Again, look at those temps. Nice and cool. All right, you're probably wondering like, is there fluid in there? Yeah, you can see the fluid line right there. I can hit it. You can see it slushing in there. I saw some bubbles come up. Let's get some more bubbles out of there. There you go. It's chilling. So there you have it. The first liquid cooled Raspberry Pi 4. Is it an aquarium? What is it? You know, I don't know, but it's a thing to talk about, a thing to share. When people come and see it, they always ask about it. They're like, how come you're not being electrocuted? What's going on? Where does this sorcery you have going on over here? But uh, it's cool, it's beautiful. Um, my last build was in a different tank with the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. 
Um, it is a lot more upkeep. It's a pain to take out the SD card, all that other stuff. But like I said, it's just fun. It by far is one of the best ways to cool a Raspberry Pi 4. It's not as practical, but it's cool. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a couple other videos around cooling and the Raspberry Pi coming up shortly. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.